Okay, welcome back to the Math Channel. This is Teacher Mr. Lim here, and in this video, we're going to be looking at ChatGPT and how to use it to study for maths. Now, um, I often get a question as a teacher, um, you know, uh, I can't seem to find the right resources, um, I want to revise for my test, um, how do I find it? Well, I think ChatGPT is a really useful tool in being able to create questions for you so that you can study for maths. There is a downside though, uh, and the downside with ChatGPT is that it doesn't um, produce any graphs or diagrams for you. So you can't, you know, um, it can, it will create word problems, but then it will mean that you'll have to draw it out. So when it comes to trig, when it comes to graphs like linear relationships or non-linear relationships, it might give you all the, 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 the description in words, but then you'll need to graph it out yourself. So that is a downside. But here is a prompt, a generic prompt that I think will work um, the majority of the time. So I'm gonna paste it in here and this is what it is. I need to be able to insert the learning intention or success criteria here. Can you please create 10 easy, 10 medium and 10 hard questions that will help me master this skill? Please include three word problems for each level. If there's a formula, Please make the hard questions involve finding a different variable, not the subject or the formula. Please don't give me the answers yet. I, I'll prompt you when I want to check my answers. Thank you. All right, so I think this will be really helpful in uh, scaffolding the types of questions that you get. So start off with the easier ones, make sure you can do those ones, then have a go with the medium and then have a go with the hard questions. And I think it's really important for us to be able to answer word problems and see it in its context because a lot of exam questions are in those types of questions particularly when you get to the hsc level um, and you need to be able to um, adapt uh, and, and see how you can apply the skills in different contexts okay um, so if you use the cambridge textbook so from year seven to ten uh, the third edition of the cambridge textbook here in Australia that we use, um, they actually have a success criteria at the end of each chapter. So let me give you an example. I'm just gonna bring this one up here. So here is the quadratic expressions and algebraic techniques, chapter eight of the year nine third edition um, textbook. At the very end, we've got a chapter checklist with success criteria. So he says here, you know, I can expand by doing products, I can expand a perfect square and form a difference of two squares, etc. This is a really useful checklist when you're studying for your final exams or any exam. So have a look at this. Here is our um, success criteria, I can expand by number products. So what we want to do here is we want to replace this with that. Okay, I need to be able to expand binomial products. Okay, then you can send that through, ask ChatGPT to create some, and here's a whole bunch. So here's our easy questions, here's some word problems, here's some medium questions, word problems, hard questions, word problems. All right, so this is really good because, you know, it's, it can be difficult trying to find a website, trying to find worksheets, asking your teacher for extra work, because ChatGPT just makes it for you. It creates it, you can answer it, and then you can check your answers. So once you're done, you can be like, all right, can I have the answers now, please? Okay, let's send that through. And then here's the answers for you to check your working out. All right, so um, one thing I've tried and I've played around with as well is with the diagrams and I, like I said it doesn't draw it for you um, so what I've done here this is from the year 10 um, year 10 textbook so the, this success criteria says I can use the formula for the area of a triangle all right um, but we know when we first start learning about area of a triangle we use base times height perpendic perpendicular height but this particular one is not um, not a triangle where we've got a perpendicular height. So what we need to do here is we need to be careful 
we need to actually be specific. So I need to be able to use the, I might say, um, sign formula for the area of a triangle. Okay, because we know it's half A, B, sine C. And you'll do that when you when you um, do it in your lessons with your teacher. So you can put that through. I'll create questions for you. Find the area triangle. Okay. And then it's got word problems. Triangle and garden. Medium problems, word problems, hard questions. And now, see, this is, um, this is great because... Sometimes we want to ask if you are able to use the formula to manipulate it to find something else, not just find the area. Okay, so this is really good. Okay, the area of a triangle is given by that. If the area is 36 and A is 10 and B is 8, find the angle C. Okay, some of these are finding the angles. A lot of them are finding this. Oh, finally, find side B. Okay, find side B. All right, and then we've got some word problems here as well. So that's really helpful. You can see here that there's no diagrams. Okay, so you just will just need to draw it out, or you can just use the formula and you can just uh, substitute the values into the formula. But that's pretty much it. Okay, I think this is really helpful. Uh, let's say, for example, you don't use the Cambridge textbook. Okay, um, in your lessons, let's say, for example, your teacher's um, going through year 11 textbook, which doesn't have all of this success criteria. Uh, but you know, during your lessons, your teacher tells you this is what the learning objective is. Use the chain rule to find the derivative of a composite function. You can just type that in, right? Let's type that in. I need to be able to use the chain rule to find the derivative of a composite function. All right, let's send that through. Nice, we've got some easy questions here. Some word problems. Temperature, population, height. Some medium questions. All right, this is some really good stuff. And I like how ChatGPT um, uh, has like normal polynomials. It's got logs, it's got uh, trig. Um, we've got here with uh, roots, we've got thirds, um, exponentials. So this is a fantastic resources to you, a uh, resource to use. So please, don't. I mean, you can ask your teacher for more work, but you also have ChatGPT, right? I know as a teacher, we are often aware about um, you know students using ChatGPT to um, to cheat in exams or in assessment tasks in their in their assignments, but you know ChatGPT is a fantastic tool for you to study. And this is one way to do it, formats. Okay, use, use the lesson objectives, use the success criteria, and just plot it into this. So this is my prompt. If you want to pause the video, you can pause the video and you can just copy that down. Okay, and when you want to get the answers, you can just ask ChatGPT to give you the answers. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.